Hello, fellow alchemists. Welcome back to our series about Phoenix and Elixir. I wanted to go over how to actually set up uh, Bootstrap for your project. And this is mostly going to be focusing about how do you work it with uh, Webpack. So let's go ahead, let's get started. The first thing is we need to go to our packets.json file. And we need to uh, update a few packages, but mostly add some packages. So the first thing, let's go ahead, let's add Bootstrap itself. At the current time, it's going to be 431. And we also need jQuery. Three, four, one is okay. And we also need popper, popper.js. One fifteen O should be fine. Now for some updating, we're gonna update webpack to four thirty and CLI to be uh, 332 and this one we're going to upgrade to 503 and finally we need to add in two things for the SAS we're going to be using SAS for this one so the first one is going to be node SAS and this one will be version 412 and then finally, we're going to need to have SAS loader, which will actually use node SAS underneath. And so SAS loader is 710. Okay, perfect. That's all we need for that. So now we just do cd into assets, npm install. Great. Now the next thing is that we have this phoenix.css, we're not going to use that anymore, so we can get remove phoenix uh, css slash phoenix.css. And we're going to want to rename our app.css to be app scss. So now we're using sas straight within here. And finally, we're going to want to import our SAS itself. So it's going to be bootstrap CSS, bootstrap.scss. And finally, we need to edit our JS file. We need to import CSS from app.css. And lastly, we need to tell Webpack which loaders to use. It's very similar to the CSS, so we're just gonna grab this, copy, paste, use a comma after here, and then just add in our SAS loader. That should be enough. So now if we run our Phoenix server, let's see. Hmm, it's like we're missing something. Bootstrap CSS. <laughs> Let me just take a look. Oh, it should be okay. Oh, sorry, forgot this. Remember to add the SCSS. Now, if we restart, there we go. Everything should be working fine, so let's load up our site. There we go. We're using now we're actually using Bootstrap. We can go to the page source, check within here. There's our Bootstrap. Uh, very quick thing. We can start to actually hide these alerts very easily. So this is what I usually do with the first time. Is that say that for any alert that's empty. None. There we go, hides it right away. So that is how you add Bootstrap with SCSS to your project. Um, I'll probably do some more small videos like this, just some, some niceties, so it's kind of written down for everybody to copy off of. 
Uh, again, this is Alan from Plangora, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.